Hi guys. This is the Igoratech. Today, I will show you how to download and install 4D client with SSL VPN. Also, how to backup and restore 4D client configuration. SSL VPN will allow remote users to connect to the FortiGate device to access internal network using 4D client for Android, Mac OS, Windows, and even some Linux operating system. You can also allow internet traffic to flow to the FortiGate for security scanning. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, click on the notification bell and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Let's begin. Open your web browser then go to support.fortinet.com. Click on login then enter your username and password. If you don't have an account, you can download it from the link in the description below. Go to support. Firmware download. Expand the select product. Choose 4D client. You can download and read the release notes for the version you want to install. Now, go to download. In this window, you will choose which device you are going to install the application. It has the version for Android, iOS, Linux, Mac, and Windows. In my case, my operating system is Windows 10 so I'm going to select Windows. Now, you will select what version you want to download. If your remote site is using the very old firmware version then you must read first the release note to check the 4D client's version supported. For this demonstration we are going to download and install the latest version available so we will select version 6. Version 6.4 and the latest version which is 6.4.3 you can download and read the release note for this version you have some options to choose to you can download the zip file the setup for 32-bit version and 64-bit version to check your operating system version right click on my computer properties You can see the system type is 64-bit operating system. You can also go to search then enter DXDIAC then you will see the operating system type. Since our operating system is 64-bit then we will have to download the version for 64-bit which is the X64. You can see the file size is 119 megabyte. To download the file, click on the HTTPS. Now, wait for it to download the setup file. You can install the 32-bit version on 64-bit operating system but you cannot install 64-bit version on 32-bit operating system. Now, let's check the downloaded file. From the file name you can see the version which is 6.4.3 and it's for 64-bit operating system. Double click to install. Check the box to agree to the license agreement then click next. We will leave the default installation path so just click next. Click on install to proceed. You will notice the shortcut application automatically created on desktop. Click finish. You will see the icon created on taskbar. Now, let's run the application. 
you can double click on the taskbar icon or the desktop shortcut icon. Check the box then click I accept to proceed. Click configure VPN. To check the version installed click on the information or I icon. You can see the version is 6.4.3.1608. Now, go to home. In this window, this is where you enter your remote site details. For the connection name, you can enter any name you want or usually the company name. For the description, it's optional. For the remote gateway, you will enter the public IP address or dynamic DNS of the remote site. If the remote site had customized the port then check the box then enter the port number. Which in my case is port 10443. For the authentication, prompt login is you will be asked for your username every time you try to connect. You have the option to save login if you don't want to enter your username every time. Enter your username. You can check do not warn invalid server certificate if you to avoid the certificate security alert every time you want to connect. Once done, click save. Now, enter your password then click connect. In this window, you will see the connection details. The VPN name, SSL VPN IP address which has been configured on the FortiGate firewall. The username, time duration, bytes received and bytes sent. To check the internet connectivity, you can open command prompt then ping the Google DNS, which in our case it's successful, it means we can access the internet. At the taskbar, you can see the SSL VPN icon has a padlock which means it's currently connected. Also, you can notice the network icon has been changed with no error occurred. To disconnect you can simply click on disconnect. Once you click on disconnect, you will notice the padlock will be removed. Now, Imagine that you have several remote sites or, you want to install this application on your other device or maybe your friends or colleagues. We can simply back up the config for you not to enter all those details again, you will just need to restore the backup config file. To do this, click on the padlock icon to unlock advanced features. Notice that the padlock disappeared. Now, go to settings or the gear icon. Click on backup. Select the file destination, we will select desktop. Enter a file name then click save. For the previous and latest version you must configure password for the backup file. Once done, click OK. Backup file created successfully. We selected the desktop as destination so you can see the file created on desktop. Now, let's delete the current config assuming it's a fresh install or new device. Click on the three line icon. You have option to add new connection, edit the selected connection and delete the selected connection. We will select delete to remove the current config. Click yes to delete the connection. Let's now restore the configuration. You can see it's like a fresh install. Click configure VPN. Click on settings again or the gear icon. You will notice that the restore has been grayed out because we haven't unlocked advanced features. Click the padlock icon to unlock the advanced features. Now, 
the restore option is already available. Click on it. Locate the backup file then click open. Enter the backup file password then click OK. Configuration restored successfully. Go to home and you will see the configuration that has been restored. To view the configuration, click on the three line icon then select edit the selected connection. You can see the remote site details we have configured earlier. You can log in to verify if the restoration has been successful. Enter your password then click connect. Connection successful. You can also right click on the taskbar icon then you have some few options to choose to. Well. That's all for today's demonstration and I really hope you like this video. Please help my channel to grow, click like, share, and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and see you in the next video.